and we are back again uh, this time with the Division B Platinum uh, finalists. Uh, we had a conversation earlier with uh, Joel Kaindi, who was the winner of the league. But now we've been joined by uh, Patrick McKenzie, who was his competitor. Um, and Patrick actually played in a previous uh, season uh, where he played also in the finals. Uh, and maybe Patrick will tell us about the previous season and then this season and how the experience was. <laughs> All right. Um, the previous season um, had a lot of strokes. So because I was still a high handicapper. Yeah. So, but now um, I think I was, I think, if not 25, 26 or thereabout. Yeah. But now I'm 15.4. So um, as the handicap keep, uh, as the handicap keeps uh, coming down, then the game becomes Come tougher. Tough. Yeah. So you have to think through your shots and everything. But then again, you know, with golf, it's yeah. a bit of luck and skill. Yeah. So depending on whatever works for you on that particular day, yeah. uh, that what that, that's what flies. Yeah. And then again, you can't come with yesterday's experience to play today's game. You, you'll, be <laughs> you'll be shocked. I like that. Yeah, so every day in golf is different. Yeah. yeah. So just coming back to today's game, yeah. uh, we've gone through what happened with uh, Joel earlier on. Yes. But from your perspective, how was it? I'd say it was tough. And uh, Joel is a tough cookie. You know, <laughs> um, actually, we started with number one. Went through the trees, he took number one, and then we went down, I think we asked or yeah, I took number two? Yeah, right? yes, yeah. And then... Um, he took the part took, three? I took number three, and then he took number four. So it was, it was either, I take one, he takes one, he takes two, <laughs> I do an offset. Mm. So it was, <laughs> oh, sorry, a very tough game as in, you know, no one went, above the other by three. Yeah, actually so two was the best. Two was a max. Wow. Mm -hmm. So wow. He, he, he takes one, I take one, yeah. I offset, or um, I take, he offsets, or he goes two up, I offset, I go two up, he offsets, and yeah. you know, it was an in and out, in and out, yeah. um, until hole number 16. I think my, I think, I, 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 15. Oh, is it, yeah, 15. 15. I think I got yeah. excited. <laughs> out of my game plan, uh, I was like, let me just take one long drive and then uh, I should have stuck with my game plan. Actually, yeah. you know, when you're playing golf, just stick to your game plan. Yeah. Because if you deviate from your game plan, you're bound to make mistakes. Yeah. So where I could have gone with a driving iron, I took a three. And uh, with a driving iron, I could have gone straight. Probably gone half and then taken an iron and placed it on the on the green. Yeah. But I decided to take a three wood because I wanted to make some traction. Because yeah. I saw where he shot at gone. Yeah. So I presume now I could I go see. straight. Yeah. And then now I made a mistake and went into the bushes. I had to come out. Yeah. And then uh, I was a stroke behind him. And he maximized on his strokes. I mean, we ended up with the bogeys. Yeah. But that's where the game ended. Probably a new year. Mm. Yeah. And then him, he kept going. He was on the fair. Very focused. On the fair, on the fair, <laughs> you know. So he's a tough cookie, though. Yeah, yeah he's, um, he's a tough cookie. Uh, and he played a solid game. So him wasn't looking to go to take long drives. Right? Yeah. Him was I don't need long. I yeah. don't need long. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Um, you've played season eight. Do you think you'd play in another Detroit tournament? Yeah, I'll play season eight. At least, um, you know, now I'm, I'm getting used to playing under pressure. Sometimes it gets into your mind, the pressure gets into your mind. But uh, with golf, you want to take a whole lot of time. Because if the pressure gets into your mind, then you're born to make even more mistakes. Yeah. So, you're getting used to, 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 to playing tournaments. Yeah. Um, and then again, um, different scenarios. So you might think you're tough in a place where, in a, in a, in a course you play more often, yeah. where you know where to place the balls. Yeah. But then again, you know, different terrains also sharpens your skills. True. So, and we are happy that you guys brought it. Last time it was in, um, I think, Vet Lab. Yeah. Now you guys brought the game here in Sigona. Yeah. Hopefully next season it will be in a different place. Yeah. 
So then it gives us opportunities probably to practice in advance before. And experience different courses. And experience different time. courses. Yeah. So kudos to you guys. Um, next year probably it will be bigger and better. Yeah. And then we see what happens from there. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of Sigona uh, yeah. and the course, uh, yes. Joel, did yeah. you feel that uh, this was a, a great v venue for the final? It is. It is. Uh, actually, Sigona is a very good course. And um, I, what um, what I was expecting is um, because they agree. I mean, their fairways are normally wet throughout, so I was expecting it to be a little bit uh, playing long. Yeah. But uh, today it was a, a little bit dry, yeah. so he thought I was a long hitter, but because uh, <laughs> my balls were running. Ah. Yes. And like he said, uh, uh, congratulations for you guys organizing this tournament. It's well organized, and I'm very glad to have uh, participated in it. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, all right. Thank you again. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you at the 19th hole mm -hmm. yeah. and have, continuing with some of this discussion. Uh, we really appreciate you participating in the tournament. Yeah. And congratulations again for being finalists, both of you. Yeah. And to you, Joel, for taking the league home. Okay. All right. Thank well you. Done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you guys. All right. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Okay.